Brian Terrian here from the Disability Digest. This video I'll go through with you uh, what to look for to determine if you've been approved or if you've received a letter from Social Security that says that you have a, uh, been awarded or a favorable decision. What do those mean? What to look for in those letters? And some tips to speed up the payment from Social Security. So let's get into it. Um, there's a check up on the screen, but Social Security rarely sends checks anymore. Um, but I thought it was a good intro. So first of all, if you are going through the approval process and you've just applied, they call that the initial application uh, stage, <clears throat> and you get awarded here, you are likely going to receive a letter like what you see on the screen, Retirement Survivors and Disability Insurance. Four key things that I believe you need to look at in here. One is the top line. It says you are entitled to benefits starting um, in December. There's a two part to this. We found that you became disabled under our rules. <clears throat> so that's the date that your condition or conditions prevented you from working. We call it your onset date of disability. Um, and was, it, was that accurate? Um, because that's going to determine the amount of back pay that you would receive, like this figure down here, uh, for 34000 So you want to check at those dates when your benefits start, um, when they found you disabled. Um, your back benefits, you can roughly calculate that amount by taking your monthly check um, that you receive, this 951, and how many months that you are out of work. Remember, there's a five-month grace period for uh, benefits. And then the last thing you want to look at is, uh, and I don't have it in this, the extended part of this letter is, is when your Medicare is in effect. Uh, oftentimes for people that have gone to a disability hearing, their Medicare is already in effect by the time they get this. So you want to swing into action quickly. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the award letter. So for initial application, if you uh, get awarded at the reconsideration level, which is the next level of appeal, which very few people get approved here, but if you do, you'll receive a similar letter like this. Now, if you go to a disability hearing, slightly different. You go to your disability hearing, and then the, the expectations are set that within three months you'll receive a decision letter. <clears throat> and that decision letter will say, just like this one does, notice of decision fully favorable or notice of decision uh, denied, uh, not favorable. You don't want those. Um, and this is a letter, it's really just a letter from the judge, not just, but it's a letter from the judge saying they've you've been to court, reviewed your case, and you're approved. And then the case goes from there off to uh, what they call it the payment center. And it's the payment center that in another three to four months will issue you this letter here that says that you've been approved. So let's recap for hearing because it's a little different. You receive a decision letter and then that usually at the three to four month mark and then you receive your award letter. Now what happens sometimes is you'll get paid, money will be deposited into your account uh, before you even get this uh, letter. So one way to do, to get ahead of this a little bit is to monitor your online account. These letters and these decisions often show there first electronically before they're printed, stuffed in an envelope, and mailed out to you. So that's a great way to stay on top of it. Um, and if you find these letters confusing and you don't you know, uh, clearly understand how to go through the four points, then you can contact us here at the Disability Digest and uh, we'll walk you through it and help you understand if everything's correct and explain it to you. Um, okay, next is speeding up the payments. So sometimes you don't get paid on time. Sometimes you receive these letters and you haven't been paid. Um, things get held up. They just do, unfortunately. And there's a variety of reasons, but for sake of time, I'm not going to get into all that. So here's a general, a, a two strategies we found that, that have worked. So first of all, when to use these is um, they're most commonly used when you have gone to a hearing, you received your decision letter, which is the first letter, 
and the best time to start using this is like three months after you've received your decision letter because that's given Social Security ample amount of time within their guidelines to execute and pay you and if they haven't then you can swing into action so um, what you do is just take the decision letter that you have or if you have received your award letter and you still haven't been paid you can definitely do that but uh, take this decision letter go to the local Social Security office and there's a tool right here that you can use to find it if you don't know where it is bring a picture ID in the letter um, just say listen I've been awarded Social Security Disability here's my letter um, and, and it's been over three months and I haven't been paid and then explain if you have uh, dire need reasons to be paid like I'm in need of housing I'm behind in my rent I'm gonna be foreclosed on my landlords on me because I haven't been able to pay and I need my money that you know it's due to me can you help me out or anything related to health reasons um, that is critical so you can go direct to the office and do that. The second strategy that has worked is getting your local government official involved, a congressman. And there's three videos here of individuals that have successfully used um, representatives, congressmen or women, to, to get their case advanced. These, uh, at the time that I'm shooting this, there is not a uh, member that we have interviewed that has uh, used this for payments, but I know that they have and they've given us uh, feedback that it's worked. So uh, those are some tips for you. Um, so again, at the initial and the reconsideration level, you're just going to receive an award letter. At the hearing level, you're going to receive this uh, decision letter, then the award letter. Um, for your disability benefits. So I hope you find this uh, video helpful um, and understanding when you're going to get paid and how to speed up the payment process. This has been Brian Terrian from the Disability Digest. Make it a great day.